this unit is this unit is learn about regional settings it is uh, the first unit on company-wide org settings module part of the admin advanced trail and it's actually um, the last module on the admin advanced trail so um, a little bit emotional for me because I've been doing this since I started off on the um, let me pull over to it here on the build your admin career in Salesforce. Um, so about all the way through here, the last trail here is prepare for the Salesforce releases, which I'm probably not going to make videos for these because it's all just, uh, you know, features and such. Um, a lot of content to get through, but doesn't seem to be worthy to make a video on. Um, so, uh, wow. I can't believe that uh, here I am. Okay, um, my name is Jeff Alhadif. If you're welcome to join me as I work my way through this unit. If I come across anything that seems interesting or helpful or confusing, I'll make a link in the description below. You can jump right to that. Otherwise, you can listen to me as I try and uh, make sense of this. Okay. Uh, after completing this unit, you will be able to describe how configuring your company settings affect your end users. I never really understood why we call them end users. Just your users. But okay. Uh, translate the company's business requirements into your company settings and update your personal locale settings. Okay. What are company settings? Let me pause here for a second. <clears throat> Have you ever wanted to assume an alternate identity? What, whether your intentions are good, bad, or morally murky, hey, we don't judge. We sort of do, though, because you're only allowed to use Salesforce for certain things, and you're not allowed to use it for other things, so... Securing counterfeit passports, facial reconstructive surgery, a backstory is tricky. Changing your company settings in Salesforce is far easier. Cute. I'm just appreciating the graphics here. Um, I one time wanted to do something like this. In one of my modules, but my editor said not to because um, it could be like, we just try not to be like country specific. Um, but they did a really good job getting a lot of representation in here. Cool. Your company settings are the collection of information about your organization. This collection is mostly captured when you purchase a Salesforce product, but you can update the settings if your company moves operations or explains globally. It's essentially a snapshot of your company's identity. To bring a touch of international intrigue to the topic, <clears throat> let's help mom and pops spy shop understand what their company settings encompass and update them as their situation changes. But first, let's break down what the company settings consist of. Company information, fiscal year information, support information. Cool. Okay, let me just keep on coming back to this. Storage used, those cats pile up fast. Like those cat picks pile up fast. Did I say those cats pile up fast? Okay. 
I'm not sure if this is funny or distracting. I think if I'm asking the question, I know what the answer is. Okay, but what are locale settings? Displaying information to your users in a familiar way improves Salesforce's experiences, experience and makes them more efficient secret agents. The Salesforce locale settings determine the display formats for the date, time, username, addresses, and commas and periods and numbers. As the admin, you set the different locale, but your users can set a personal locale if they're based in a different location. We cover both those settings later, but first let's take a look at what's affected by updating the default or personal locale. Locale language time zone. Got it. Okay. Update your company information. Good news. After years of diligent undercover work, Mom and Pop's spy shop was acquired by the biggest and best funded firms, Nacho Secret Agency. Corny. Let's look at how to update your company settings after you relocate and merge financial systems. Note, create a new trailhead. Playground module, trailhead playground module, playground for this module. It might even trigger the robot revolution. Click the drop down arrow. Okay. <laughs> that was dramatic. We're holding while the robots update. Okay, we're gonna pause. Okay, we're gonna launch. Yeah, I'm back up. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna launch your trailer playground. We have a new one. Click setup and go to setup. No, it's okay, I don't want to. No, it's okay, I don't want to. What's this one called? Brave Wolf. Catchy. Reminds me of a movie. Okay, under company information, the quick find box. Company information. Edit and okay, edit, update the information to your new location. Street London Postal Code. meantime mm -hmm. okay click save See, it was probably off the uh, off the screen for you. Okay, notice all these things we have changed. We cover currency in the next year. Let's check how to update the fiscal year. 
from setup, click fiscal year, cool. Change the fiscal year start to month to July. Now you can also opt to change whether the fiscal year is based on ending or starting month or configure a completely custom fiscal year. Keep other settings. Okay, so here. Okay. The starting month, the ending month. Okay, and what's a custom fiscal year? Okay. Such as a template for fiscal year four quarters, each with four, four, five, two four week months, and a five week month. Sounds confusing. So you have a different start time for your standard fiscal year, so you could create some different. Fine. Update your personal locale. As you know, the company information page includes your company's default locale, language, and time zone, but Employees outside of headquarters can choose their own locale settings to match their situations. And locale doesn't just cover location. Imagine a Portuguese speaker using user who lives in Oregon State but works with customers in Brazil. Let's look at how we update personal settings so that the user's needs, even if they're different company local, local settings, can be accommodated. In the header, click the profile icon, select settings, enter language, and a quick find box. Um, select language and time zones. The user selects the time zone, locale, and language that match the situation. For example, select Pacific time zone. Now do this now, or your org will display all in Portuguese. Okay. If multi currency enabled, configured, wait to this next. Okay. Click save. Changing times can call for a slight or a severe identity change. Fortunately, company information and personal account quickly updatable. Updatable. No matter where your mission takes you, next you learn how to control and update currency to take operations global. Okay. Let me just go back to the regular settings here. Take a second while I do this. Okay, so I um, think I did all of this right. We'll check in just a second here. But I recently moved to Baltimore. Um, and uh, yeah, so I was I was sort of like, oh, this is cool. Like uh, Baltimore, Maryland, zip code 20755. Eh, that's not a Baltimore. It's uh, 20755 is the zip code uh, for Fort Meade. So like Baltimore is over here, Fort Meade's over here. <laughs> It's also where the NSA is. <laughs> so I thought that was sort of funny. Um, so nice job on the Easter egg hit it in there, folks. I liked it. And while this is checking, I noticed that the NSA has <laughs> 3.0 star rating on Google.
Crab Fascist Agency. Both the gift shop and the number theory are excellent here. <laughs> so many scouts, that's a humor. Let's try to go to the math museum with a friend, but missed a turn and ended up in the parking lot of the NSA headquarters. Got pulled over and took pictures because I thought it was interesting. Two agents came to my window, questioned me, and my friend extensively confiscated my phone and somehow knew I took pictures of the building. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching. Yeah, if you're bored, like I just was, look at reviews for the NSA. Why not?